learning Mary Zion all over base. The mitzvah lo idiyah lebonim afilu leshoalu. It's a mitzvah to tell your children even if they don't ask. Shenema vigadat olavincho because it says vigadat olavincho. We'll look in the pirush. Mitzvah lo idiyah lebonim afilu leshoalu. Shenema vigadat olavincho. You have to tell from you by yourself even if they didn't ask. As we find in Sefer Mitzvahs, <coughs> Positive Commandment 157. Also in the Mechilta, on the Posik Yishocha Mincha Mocha Leimoyo, the Mechilta says, I may think only if your son asks you, if not, you don't have to. So it says, even though he doesn't ask you. Now, eh, according to the intelligence of the child, you tell it to him, of your father teaches him, Ketzad, what does this mean? May you cotton typish, he was a cotton a minor or not intelligent, and he tells him, my son, we were Avodim, and he tries to explain to him. In the other times, there was they were maidservants, so he can like this slave in Mitzrayim. <coughs> and in this night, he took us out to freedom. Now, the Maga Mishnah cites the Mishnah according to the, the knowledge of the son, his father teaches him. And the Ram adds that cotton or tipish, we should explain according to what the child comprehends. If the Ben was an adult and wise, my dear, he doesn't know my she'ir olonu mitzrayim, what took place in mitzrayim, the nisim shino and also the nisim that were made. Done for us by through Moshe Rabbeinu. So that any you have to tell it in explicitly and and also extensively. Everything according to the understanding of the child, as much as he's capable of understanding. Now we go to Alochi Gimel. The Torah Lazi Shinuin Balayla Azem Kedei Shiru Abonim. You have to make a change. You have to make it a, a difference in this night from all of the, uh, from the regular conducting of a meal. <coughs> so the children will see the Yishal and they'll ask, Why is this light different than all of the nights? Until he will explain to them, Until he says to them, This is what took place and this is what happened. Now, we can explain, Why does he say two things? This is what occurred and this is what happened but this as we said in aloha aleph that is anyone who was extensive in his discussion of what took place and what and which were is praiseworthy shahoyu means that what was our position as slaves shiiru those are the one-time occurrences that took place, such as the Makris. Kezim Mishane, how do you make a difference this night? Machalek Lam Kloyis, you give them wheat which has been roasted, Vegoizim and walnuts. You take away the table. They used to have one small table in front of every individual rather than a large table like we have. The Khoitzim Matzah Zemizeh, and they would grab Matzah one from the other. And similar to these things. Um, the Magen Mishnah cites the Bryce. He gives them roasted egoism. This is found in Sochem 109a. So they should ask. Rabbi Leza says, you grab matzah and Arab pace of one from the other, so they shouldn't sleep. And furthermore, in the Gemara, we find in 115b, why do you take away the table? Rabbi Anai, so that the children will ask. Now, the Agos Maimonides and Rabbi Menoyach both explain in their time everyone had their own table. And they would take out the table before they ate, meaning they before the meal, so that the children will ask. But the tables, our tables, which are large, and it's difficult to pull them out, to move them, the meaning is to just take away the, the, the tray upon which the matzah and moro and the other ingredients that we use before the Shulchan Aruch are found as if we ate them in order that the children should ask 
What's going on? We just didn't start yet. Now, what does choyz and matzah mean? We grab matzahs. According to the Rambam, it means one grabs from the other. The Raiva disagrees. There's another explanation. They should hurry and eat in order not to have the children fall asleep. Choyz means to rush, to grab, grab time. Not the opposite of killing time. And they eat matzah, so the, t- the children will not sleep, and they will be able to ask the question of Manishtana. Rabbeinu Menoyach cites the Tosefta. Avleza says, you grab matzahs, and they should ask, and also so they shouldn't sleep. Abuda Imam, Abuda says in his name, even if you only put in dip one, the Chazeres, and even if you only ate one, Item, then you grab the masses for the Shizonikis in order that he should not fall asleep. And we see like the Rambam that there is there are two we'll turn the page. Two reasons that we grab the matzah. One is to keep them from sleeping, so they shall say the hollow. And the second one is to keep them to awaken them to the fact of asking because you're, what are you doing? Why are we grabbing matzahs? Now, why do we pick up the tray? When we say holach ma'anya, the Rajbam says it's not correct, but the Oroch in Rashi in 109a explains choyt fi matzah, you pick up the tray with the matzahs in the Mora and the Tavshu. The Agoyz Maimonis brings the Ravyo, writes in the name of the Rajbo, the da. Picking up the matzahs is not so that the children should ask. It's a minig for simcha ba'almo. It's a showing a show of happiness. Like we say, we proclaim that we have to praise Hashem. And so we pick up the kais at different intervals in the agoda for simcha ba'almo, to show that we are in a state of happiness. So there are three reasons what, what means we grab matzah. Rashi and Rambam says, okay, one takes it from the other. The Ravid says, you rush. Now, Rashi and Rashi say that you pick up the <coughs> tray that has the matzahs so they shouldn't, the children should not sleep and they should ask. Now, Goes Maimon is, cites the Rajbam that you shouldn't pick up the, the Cairo and to take out the item and with take out the items from the Cairo, like the Gemara in one sixteen B in Psochim, that when you say Pesach Shoyavishinoim, you shouldn't pick up the meat. Why? Because if you pick it up it'll look like you're making it Hegdish, Kodesh, like you're making it Pesach meat. Therefore you only pick up the Cairo which has the matzah. You know, it, it, that it does not show that you're making it Kodesh. And you take it from away from you entirely, and you place it in the corner, if it, as if it was already eaten. And that's a similarity to what they used to take away the table. And so it would seem to say for our mitzvahs. And Rabbi Nusimha continues, he continues that Rabbi Nusimha wrote, that he has to pick up the matzah, when you say matzah zu, in holach anyo, and when you pick it up, you take away the cooked items that are on the kairil, which is the egg and the zura. So they it shouldn't look as, as seem as if you're making them Kurdish. And so Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Yosef Toiv Ilem said in it, wrote in the Sidur that this is what you do. Now who asked the Manishtano? Eli Ben he doesn't have a son, Ishta Shoyal also. His, his wife asks him. He doesn't have a wife, Shoyal and Manishtano Everyone asks the other. Because the mitzvah is at night has two questions and answers. Afilu oyukulon chachomim. Even if everyone is a wise person, they shouldn't say, since we know what's go- what happened, why, why should we ask each other? The other one knows more than me? And the answer is yes. People have different vantage points of, lo- of understanding. Now, the father, does he say Manishtana after the children? Oyelavadoy. <coughs> Ram writes, if he was alone, shoyelatse Manishtana alayla azed. Then he asks it. Manishtana to himself. It would seem to infer that if there was a child, then he just continues with such and such took place, and this is what is what was the situation. 
And he doesn't have to go back and say Manishtano. So we see in the Gemara, Abayah sat before Rabo and Leila Seder, and he saw him picking up the table. So he said to him, we didn't eat yet, and you're taking away the table? So Rabbi said, with that question, Abayah fulfilled our obligation, we don't have to say Manishtano. The Rajvam explains that even if the Chochom, if the wild child is wise, he asks. And if not, he asks himself. And since Abaya asked already, and the father does not have to go ahead and repeat the Manishtana, but can just continue. And so we find in the Gemara, Ranav and Shola Abdui. Ranavan asked to his slave, Shekole Do, his name was Do. What what happens to a slave that his master gives him his freedom and he also gives him gold and silver and gold? What is it? What should he say to his master? So Doro said he has to praise him and thank him, thank him and praise him. So Rav Nachman says, with that you have fulfilled our obligation of saying Manishtano because that's what took place in Mitzrayim. Because Yisro freed us and gave us Bizui, Bizus Mitzrayim, Bizus Ayam. And we, right away he began, Vavo Adam Hoyinu. And the other Rajbam says that after the question, he said, Vavo Adam Hoyinu. He finished our Goda with praise and thanks. Thus we see that after the son asks, you do not have to repeat it again. And the Ramah, that's the way the Ramah codifies the halacha. The Mishnah Brura adds that even the Talmud Chokham asks his friend, the one who's asked does not have to say Manishtano. But the Chsam Soifa eh, points out in Perik Ches, Aloha Beis, the Ram says, first you fill up the Kois Sheni. In other words, the second cup, you finish Kiddush, the first cup has been drunk, the second cup is now filled before Manishtano. Vekana ben Shreel. And here's where the son asks. And the reader says, Manishtano alaylo azem ikol alaylo. He says, the reader, meaning the leader of the table, as it would seem that after the Ben asks, the reader has to ask as well. Uh, the person conducting the Seder to say Manishtano, Rabbeinu Menoyach, does not have the text in the Rambam that the reader says Manishtano. Now, can one make a Seder by himself? So we said in the Rambam, if he doesn't have his son, his wife asks him. The Magen Mishnah cites a Brisa. Tana Rabbonon. Chochom, his son asks him. If not, his wife asks him. If not, he asks himself. Even two Tamina Chachomim ask each other. Rabbi Menoyach infers that he can ask himself. This would seem, you can read the Agoda, even by yourself, not like we find in the Medrash Sheikh HaToyv, on Telem, which says you need to have Zimun in Halal. When you say, Hoi Lashem Gitoyv, that one should say it and two should answer. But to begin with, you need two or more. And that's making a, a tzidur, it's, it's exemplary, that uh, to praise Hashem in front of other people and make it known that you do the mitzvah in, with, in, among the populace, it's to as many as you can. It's like the Pesach is eaten by Chabura because Barev Amhad al Only someone that doesn't have the possibility can make the Seder alone. In Mechilta, we find specifically that if he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a son, he has to read it by himself, the Agoda. And he cites Baal that they wrote. They wrote it, that they read it in two people because on Yontav Shechal B'Shabbos, we're afraid if Yontav falls on Shabbos, when you can't read by the Oraner, Therefore, you should read two people together so one will remind the other. And uh, Rabbi Menach points out in Hilchah Shabbos, he there is an extensive discussion about this.